The push-up is one of the test options used to measure upper body strength and endurance in the fitness gram. The objective of the push-up is to complete as many 90-degree push-ups as possible and to do so at a set cadence or pace. To administer the push-up, the examiner needs the pacer CD with a player, as the CD contains a recorded cadence for the push-up. Examiners may also choose to call the cadence. The pace is one 90-degree push-up every three seconds. The examiner also needs copies of score recording sheets. While gym mats may make taking the test more comfortable for the student, they are optional. A cardboard square or other object that has a 90-degree angle may assist the examiner, determining if the student reaches 90-degree elbow flexion. Before the day of the test, students should be provided with information about upper body strength and endurance and how the push-up is a measure of this area. Students should also be given opportunities to practice the push-up. The warm-up is important to performance on the push-up. The goals of the warm-up are to prepare the body for activity, improve performance, and reduce injuries. The examiner tests the number of students that can be accurately monitored to ensure that each push-up is performed correctly. The student begins by assuming a face-down position on the mat with hands placed under or slightly wider than the shoulders, palms touching mat, fingers extended and legs straight and slightly apart, and toes tucked under. The student then pushes up off the mat until arms are straight and legs and back are in a straight line. We'll now begin the, the back should section. be kept in a straight Ready? line from head to toes begin. throughout the test. Down, up, one, down, up, two. The student performs the push-up up to the cadence of one push-up every three seconds by following the voice commands for down, up. The student is permitted one break in form. A form break occurs when the student is not achieving a 90-degree angle of elbow flexion in the down position before pushing up, when a straight back is not maintained throughout the push-up, when the arms are not fully extended in the up position, and when the student stops to rest or cannot keep up with the cadence. The student is stopped when the second form break is made or when the student appears to be in extreme discomfort or pain. The score is the number of 90 degree push-ups performed before the second form break. The first form break or incorrect push-up is counted in the score. If the push-up score is within or above the range of the healthy fitness zone for the student's gender and age, the student meets the performance standard and should continue doing regular physical activity. If the score falls below the range of the healthy fitness zone, this indicates that the student would benefit from physical activities designed to improve upper body strength and endurance. This video was developed to help ensure the push-up is administered in a manner consistent with the Fitnessgram Test Administration Manual and California Physical Fitness Test Regulations and Guidance. For more information about the Physical Fitness Test, we encourage you to visit the California Department of Education PFT webpage.